Okay, so welcome to the next episode of Visionary, Visionary New Earth Leaders podcast. Today we have a lovely lady, Laura McPhee here, and we are going to talk about pleasure mm. on every level. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> on every level, right? So I'll just hand over to you, Laura, just to tell us who you are and what you do and those things. And then we can dive into this conversation. Yes. And thank you so much for having me. Mm. I am on it. <laughs> thank you. So I am a speaker, healer and coach, and I love to empower other coaches and healers and heart centered entrepreneurs to live the life of their dreams, to have the impact and income that they're desiring with a pleasurable lifestyle and time and financial freedom that their heart is desiring. So I do that through a number of modalities. I'm a Theta healer, Master Reiki practitioner. I'm a reflector in human design. So I literally am like incarnated here to amplify and mirror other lightworkers, which is really fun. I've done the Tony Robbins world. I'm a mastery university graduate there so I have the masculine pieces and the conscious work pieces married with the subconscious and the feminine pieces I'm a certified erotic blueprint coach so I can get very much into the eroticism the pleasure world which it seems like we're getting into today because the energy is here for it (laughs) and I'm an empath clear cognizant I just love using all of my different superpowers and skills and tools to support my clients in living their best lives Oh, amazing. Thank you for that wonderful, wonderful introduction. I think everyone kind of gets it now what we're going to get into. And yeah, yeah, so what comes to me here is really how we can change the industry by truly allowing ourselves to be all of who we are yes Mm -hmm. so can you in your best way and in the best explanation that you have Mm -hmm. explain the pleasure piece that you know from your heart from your depth Mm -hmm. how that can change us in entrepreneurship and leadership and all those things yeah Mm -hmm. Mm, I love the depth of your heart comment (laughs) so from a core level we are erotic beings we were created Mm. through pure creative energy you would not be here unless an egg and a sperm got together through intercourse Uh, yeah so it's so amazing to heal that root level Because a lot of people are born into the world with shame around sex, with their mother having a painful birthing experience. There's all these negative things that stem from how we were created Mm -hmm. onto this planet. So when we do the work internally to heal that, and we start to experience more of our eroticism, when we connect with who we are fully, and we choose to expand it if we so choose, that allows so much in. And in the erotic blueprints, you can literally take a quiz, it's free online, and discover what your erotic blueprint is, so that you can discover more about you and your partner if you have one right now, so you can discover truly what turns you on, truly what builds intimacy and passion and depth, and then you can have hot sex for a lifetime. (laughs) Yeah. So in that space, you're overflowing, like people who are like, in their pleasure and their bliss and their orgasmic nature Mm -hmm. they have so much more bandwidth so much more capacity it's also Mm -hmm. like very healthy on the science side of like it builds your immune system it does so many like healthy things physically for us yeah pleasure as well yeah Yeah. because if you look at so i love that so just to say the erotic blueprint there is that something you're sharing with us as a quiz is that your yes I could totally put that in our show notes so, yeah so we've got the in show notes yeah great no mm. I just want to make sure because I didn't check all of it but yes. we would need that one so <laughs> we can do their um you know their quiz mm-hmm. amazing so what comes to me there is that so I totally get it and feel it because I'm you know I am an embodied leader. I have done a lot of deep inner work so that I can be all the things that I am, as in like 
from a from a from an um, energetic sort of point. So, what I from my understanding with this is that when, like, if we look at the world how it's built now, it's more built on like stress and pressure and deadlines and all those yeah. things, and that suppresses creativity. Mm. so although you will get results from that I mean the whole par- you know the whole paradigm is built like that so mm-hmm. you get the results because your it's a willpower yeah. uh it's like buy me consciousness like if I make this happen it's like buy me consciousness but we're looking here as through me and as me consciousness right mm, yeah your beingness the beingness exactly mm-hmm. so with that like I understand that many, many women and men are trapped in their old because they haven't learned how to tap into the creativeness, the sensuality, the eroticism. Mm-hmm. As you said, there's shame, there's also programming, religious programming, things like that. Oh, yeah. Can, mm-hmm. you, can we go into some really sort of grounded practical steps here? Because people are like, oh, yeah, I understand that on an intellectual level, but what do I do now, Laura? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love that. So Mm -hmm. the starting point feels like, especially because you brought in kind of like the patriarchal, hyper-masculine energy, go, 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 do, 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 hustle, hustle, hustle world, Mm -hmm. will be like inviting some space in for the opposite, for your feminine, Mm -hmm. or if you want to use yin and yang instead of masculine, feminine, like whatever words work best for you. And like invite in more play, more Mm -hmm. space for fun, more space for enjoying like a delicious chocolate treat even more slowly like those tend to be if you're in like that very old paradigm structure right now sometimes it can be a lot to be like go into a pleasure practice and I have a million of those if we want to get into that next but sometimes the like most winnable best next step Mm -hmm. is just inviting in your feminine energy more Mm -hmm. your like body to guide you does it feel really good to move your body today put on a sensual song and dance your body to it Mm. does it feel really good to walk through nature even more slowly and not do it because it's quote exercise but because you want to witness the beauty around you Mm. and surrender to the experience yeah Mm -hmm. so we're talking presence here yeah Mm -hmm. being present yeah and that's probably most challenging for most people actually I, you know, mm. I catch myself to not be present as well sometimes, although I'm quite good at being present. Um, but yeah, so that's a really good start. So for those who feel more advanced, because some people be listening mm. to this and they go, I do all that, that's all present. Yeah. What do I do next? Mm-hmm. So what you would do next would definitely be checking out what your blueprint is so that I can give you some like good tips and we can also do a couple little experiences mm. here. So if you discover that you're energetic, you'll be like, oh, I like more teas and slowness. Oh, okay. And anticipation. So it could be something like, let's play with a physical touch where it's like, oh, if I put my hand and hover it over my arm Mm -hmm. and like just tune in, closing your eyes can be supportive to be like, where do I feel the tingles? Where do I feel the energy? So if you're feeling that, you might be an energetic. And another energetic touch is also going all the way down to your skin and just lightly touch those hairs on your arm. It's like super light, light, light finger to touch. So good. So um, I can't wait to do the test. <laughs> it's like, I want to do the test. So how many yeah. profiles in this test? So there's five. Okay. So the first is energetic. The next is sensual. So sensual is like more caressing touch. If you're like, oh yeah, massages, like yeah. get in there with more deeper touch. That's the sensual and the sensual blueprint. Yeah. Next is sexual. So that's typically what we see on like shows where people are like kissing and then go right to penetration. It's like right. they like genitals. They can go zero to 60 and 3.5. That's the sexual. <laughs> okay. So not everyone will be like that, of course not everyone and it can be like further down in their stack so they could be like I'm very sensual and after my sensual super turned on and I'm dropped into my body then I become Mm -hmm. more sexual Mm -hmm. 
the next blueprint is kinky. So there's both sensation-based kink mm-hmm. and psychological kink. Mm. So psychological can be anything that you've ever considered taboo. Mm-hmm. So if you were raised super religious, it could be sex at a missionary, could be your kink. Yeah. Sex like outside of the bedroom or <laughs> any <the> garden. <laughs> <laughs> yes, outside. There can be a what full a- range. And then there's the sensation, which is like if you enjoy scratches on your skin uh, or if you like spanks or slaps. Is that sad. within the kinky one? It's within the kinky, yeah. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. And then there's one more. Then there's one more. The last one's the shapeshifter. They want it all. They're all of the things. They want it now. Mm-hmm. And they don't get their cup filled unless they have them all. Oh. So there can be some people who feel very shapeshiftery, but they have a very energetic lover in the moment. Oh. So they're very energetic with that person, but they feel like there's something missing. They're not getting fully fed. Fully I love fed. all this. This is amazing. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like, did you, did you invent this? Like, this no. is amazing. My mentor did. Jaya oh. created it. Oh. And I am very fortunate that I was able, as she was beginning to exit and do more philanthropic things out of the company. I was able to mentor under her for two and a half years. Oh, I love this. And I'm becoming a lead coach intern within the company. So I'm very connected to this work and I love it so deeply, wow. but I didn't create it. <laughs> I love that you have those different profiles because it could actually really also, it's almost like we get a bit of relief when we understand more about ourselves yeah. and go, ah, yeah. oh, actually it's okay. It's like human design. I do this whole contract, for example. Yeah there's these understandings about ourselves that really helps us you know relax back a bit and go yeah well this works for me you know and this might not work for me sort of thing yeah Mm -hmm. so yeah so we advise to go to the show notes have a look go and do a little test obviously yay so how do you see this so what who do you so who do you typically work with like do you work you said entrepreneurs and coaches how do you see this work could actually fit many places like what what do you see with this yeah I feel like pleasure definitely can help everyone in the world Mm. like people do things out of a negative state and that's how we co-create the negative in the world but when we're filled up when we're fully fed when we have a full cup or an overflowing one Mm. we have so much more space Mm. patient and loving and supportive and understanding Mm. and a lot of humans in the world right now have short fuses don't have much bandwidth or much of a cup being filled at all so when we shift that to pleasure and healing and all these beautiful things we can be our fullest expressions of ourselves we can follow our soul's work and our soul's work in the world is so important whether you're in the spiritual communities or not it's so crucial for us all to be co-creating with our own unique design and desire exactly. exactly so how do we bring this work in for men and women because mm. we we do operate like so men and women I would have thought from a biological perspective and sort of your DNA operate slightly different when it comes to intimacy pleasure and sex Yes. So how do do you apply this model on men and women? Yes. So it's very interesting because sometimes people assume that men are more sexual, but really it's a cultural conditioning. Wow. They've done different analytics on reports and different results from the quizzes. Mm. And the quiz is also from a brain space. So like actually those physical touches that we were doing will give you a better, more grounded thing because sometimes you're like, oh yeah like I would never resonate with energetic but then you do that slow 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 touch off your body and you're like oh I feel that everywhere wow so it's almost like by being experienced you can then determine what what category you're in yeah Mm -hmm. so tell me more I, I like to hear more about the um the differences culturally and what you have discovered and where the healing you know where do we start with this because we have a whole world and societies of different you know of difference if you like Mm -hmm. so so how do we how do we start to unpick all this 
Mm-hmm. what comes to you and I say that's kind of a wide question but it is I love it though because I am such a visionary leader and I have like so many ideas and Good. when I ground it it's like I get to support the people around me mm-hmm. and then they get to support the people around them and right. they get to support the people around them yeah and that's a big reason why I chose to go into just solely working with other light workers, coaches healers practitioners because their impact is massive of course they don't just affect themselves and their family and maybe a couple coworkers. no they impact all of their clients all of their community so many people around them and the waves of change that i literally feel in my body connecting with that energy is so big so i might not be the best fit to work with someone who's ultra religious, super conservative, has never gotten into a personal development book in their life. But someone that I touch who works with someone else, who works with someone else, who works with someone else that can reach that soul. Mm -hmm. That's where I get like super excited because the ripples can be infinite and touch everyone. Exactly. Exactly. So really doing whatever your unique next step is helps to create those ripples. Yeah, so so it's almost like be yourself, do what it is you came to do, be true to yourself, and then trust that that energy and what you're bringing forth will touch the people that are meant to touch, and then those people will touch those people that are meant to touch, and it's all going to work out. (laughs) Yes! Yes, it's all all going to work out. So... If you think of, so what's, I would like to know, what's mm-hmm. your most um, interesting and fun sort of work you've ever done with this? Like, because I can mm-hmm. see how it could be, you can really stretch it to polarities, right? Mm-hmm. Tell me. Tell me something. Tell me a fun story. Mm, I'm like that I've personally experienced as like a client yeah. with this or I've experienced like with my is, clients. Yeah. <laughs> because look, it is, for some people, it is taboo. So mm-hmm. it's going to be, you know, it's going to be incidents where it's like, oh gosh, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> anything that comes to mind. Mm. So what first came to mind was my experience in Costa Rica. I was lucky to be at the last experience I did with advanced sex skills and erotic secrets. Right. So it's literally five full days of each of the blueprints. So Monday was energetic, Tuesday was sensual. And the culmination of all of that was extraordinary to expand my edges in pleasure. Yeah. And getting to experience like the sensual feast and going to like, a place with all the waterfalls and all the like oh it was just gorgeous jungle nature massively incredible yeah. being like I'm like my life is better than like the bachelorette like yeah. my life is like so fucking awesome <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. oh I love that so that was like a really full-on like full experience like the whole buffet <laughs> yes the entire buffet so much pleasure so much expansion <laughs> yeah now, for those who feel still the shame or feel shy or feel like even they are open, they want to 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 do the work, but and they they might starting inviting more space mm-hmm. into their life to do more of the feminine energy exercises as yeah. so to speak. Yes. But if somebody feels really, you know, trapped in the past, what? What, where do you suggest they start because you can start with those space sort of exercises but mm-hmm. it, sometimes it takes you know a lot to move a mountain so mm-hmm. if those who are feels really are struggling and they just don't know what to do what, what do you think they should do or what do you recommend yeah and like my old parts totally feel you where you're at if you're like oh that's so where I'm at in this moment mm-hmm. I went from sexual trauma in my childhood Mm. to not enjoying sex ever. It was painful. I wasn't orgasming, not by myself or with partners. So I had in my brain this like iceberg of frozen, numbed, fucked up energy that like needed to get healed. Mm. So if you're in that space, take it one moment at a time. Mm. 
do whatever your body's guiding you to. And for me, for years, that was healing work. Mm. More healing work, some healing here, some Reiki there, a session here, a discovery of this here. Mm. Mm. And as that started to melt, I started having more sensation, more access to my body. My body got louder. I was able to tune in more to what would feel good for me. Mm. And that opened up a ton of pleasure and a ton of sensation. And I'm very grateful for all the deep work I've done because now I can have multiple, multiple, multiple orgasms and it's fucking amazing. And the healing work is worth it. Mm. And I always like to share that with my clients who come in at the, I don't know where to start. There's so much to heal. I'm so far away from that, but I know that I want that. Mm. I like to kind of like give them the carrot and be like, it's so worth it on the other side of someone who's literally gone through the trenches it's so worth it on the other side yeah because it's that wholeness of a truly deeply fulfilled life yeah I am an expert in trauma healing myself so it's like Mm. I would love to let's be uh let's push the boat out here shall we and talk a little bit about sexual trauma because there is a a topic which I feel more people are talking about it Mm. and maybe if we can kind of give some reassurance and perhaps also we did you did some guidance there already but talk about what actually happens because I know but you know as well but we want to share it with the audience uh, what happens uh, with the body when we have been exposed to sexual abuse and I'm thinking now anything from just a small bit of shame to being touched in the wrong way to penetration like the whole spectrum so let's dive in shall we yeah so typically there's contraction in our body yeah and then we create protective barriers so different walls or blocks or things to try to like allow us to cope and just get through Mm -hmm. it in the moment in the moments Mm -hmm. after Mm -hmm. And at any age, right? So at any age, yeah. yeah. It's mm-hmm. just a human sort of reaction to yeah. knowing something's wrong. And yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So a lot of people will notice the contraction or not notice it and be like, oh, maybe there was, depending on how mm-hmm. clear you are with your body at the time. Um, some people just like numb out, disassociate. There can be the freeze or fight or fawn response. There's all those different traumatic experiences mm-hmm. that every unique individual can have theirs Mm -hmm. um so what I tend to do with my clients is some body healing on those Mm -hmm. to tune into that old energy to support them in releasing it from their body because it was supportive at that time Mm -hmm. and we can honor it and love it and thank it and accept it for supporting us when that was happening when it was needed Mm -hmm. when you needed to numb out from it when you needed to like totally bury yourself off from the rest of the world and like block out all the things Mm. and at whatever age you're at when it's ready to be healed where it is coming to the surface because it can be healed at that time Mm. it's no longer serving you and it's best to lean in a little bit to your edges a little bit outside your comfort zone not outside your window of tolerance don't like re-traumatize yourself no no just a little bit at a time yes to heal it yeah Yeah, baby baby steps. steps that feel safe for your body yeah yeah so I'm going to share this uh, we can both share it but what happens with trauma like from what you just said in the experience the body consciousness will like store it mm-hmm. so if a child is small and you actually can't remember it's just stored is that in the body as well mm-hmm. and so I use divine healing I've, I've actually healed a lot of sexual trauma on, mm-hmm. on people and my clients um it will come up as we're going through whatever program or something you know they they not come just for that perhaps but it might be something else but that will come up but yeah. what I really love what you said there is that once the trauma is actually released from on a cellular level and subconscious and kind of you know almost like energetically this happens with healing you know mm-hmm. energetically uh, shift it out of the system and then invite like more light and more joy and all these other things in that's when the sensation come back I reckon yeah mm-hmm. because I think the body is like turned off it's like it's turned off in places because yeah. of the impact right mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. 
and then we can then increase the capacity of pleasure yes so yeah so baby baby steps amazing amazing mm -hmm. um, the other thing is I would yeah so I really want because this is such a important topic and I'd, I'd like to say this actually to listeners as well uh, and what in my own experience and you probably have had this as well is that sometimes it's such a suppressed memory Mm -hmm. that it will only come up once you start the self-development journey yes. and you're like oh my god I'm having these images and, mm -hmm. and memories coming back which I've suppressed yeah. do you want to talk a little bit about that and just, mm -hmm. just sort of fill in on that one because that's also quite scary right yeah mm -hmm. so yeah it's definitely good that when you're going through this journey you have someone who is trained and experienced in all these areas um because it can be a lot for your body and your nervous system to mm. navigate so I don't recommend doing it by yourself I had you and yeah. I had like trained psychologists people and yes. all my healing sure. team experts and all yeah yes, experts so yes. definitely connect with an expert to support you in that because it's really a lot to go through and navigate by yourself mm. for me personally when I've experienced these things it's been very interesting to think of like when I started my journey and getting like more bits and pieces mm -hmm. to being years and years and years and over a decade and now where I'll still get new pieces from my childhood when it's time to heal. Yes. So that's been something that's felt like a really good safety mechanism within myself to be like, yes. it's only coming up because it's ready to be healed. It's ready. Exactly that. Yeah. I said that to my clients as well. It wouldn't have come to the surface if you were not ready to heal it. Right. Yeah. And that's that's also a reassuring kind of mechanism almost isn't it for mm -hmm. you know, people listening now thinking but how do I know it's right uh it is right. it mm -hmm. is right yeah. yeah so let's kind of so I wanted you to go deep there because mm -hmm. this is important work and mm -hmm. I feel that there should be room for everyone to heal themselves and mm -hmm. so that they can come into full wholeness and full intimacy and pleasure and all those things mm -hmm. so if the whole world were listening right now take your time mm -hmm. <laughs> what would you like to say the first thing that was coming through would be like I would give them healing downloads so I could do that for a moment now <laughs> So I would invite them to take a deep breath, connect with their heart, just ground their body. And you want to know what it looks like and feels like through your higher powers, truth, wisdom, perspective, knowledge, and understanding to connect with your wholeness your divinity and that you can move in your divine inspired action steps towards the next best thing that will support you on your journey for you to do for you to be connected with and that you can deepen your trust in yourself and your next steps and if you'd like that you can say yes yes mm. i heard eight billion people say yes <laughs> Everyone's moving people. in yeah. alignment. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so good. Love it. So let's round up now. Um, I have really, really enjoyed this conversation. I think it's going to be incredibly valuable for many, many people. Yeah. And why don't you share where people can find you? Obviously, there's links in the in the show notes, but just tell us where they can find you best and reach out to you if they need any support mm -hmm. thank you so much so i'm laura mcphee on facebook coach laura mcphee on instagram i have a pleasure and prosperity podcast where all podcasts are if you want to get deeper into the sexuality talk and the eroticism and the healing and i'm very open and i'm extremely raw and real there 
we will put that link for the quiz. I'm even feeling called to also gift you my even more pleasure masterclass so that you can expand into more pleasure right now and get some actual implementation pieces for you if you're feeling called to that for homework. <laughs> we'll do that as well, homework. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. I have I feel pleasure. truly honored, blessed that we've had this conversation. And I'm looking forward to your podcast as well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and yeah, thank you everyone for watching and we'll see you very soon in the next mm -hmm. episode.